Hello and welcome to today's video on building a payment link in Git Legit or Go High Level, whatever you call it. Um, welcome. So I'm really excited for today's video because I think that making a payment link is one of the coolest things you can do with the software because you can hook it right up to Stripe and you can do subscriptions. So the way I used to charge my coaching was I was on PayPal or Stripe and I would literally charge a client every month and have to keep track of all that. And really, it was a pain in the butt. I hated it. Um, and it wasn't professional looking. And this is the professional way to do it. That's much easier. So what we want to do is go to payments and then we want to make sure that we create a product. So before you create the funnel, you want to have the product. So I already put it in here, monthly coaching with Andrew, $700. Um, okay, so I made that product, it takes like two seconds. You can add a picture and a description. You don't have to, just make your product um, super simple. I'll show you, okay? So there's my name. I didn't write a description, I didn't put a picture. I just put the recurring. The amount is 700 bucks. It's going to be a six month coaching package. Okay, so monthly, six months, and I click save, super simple. All right, so now we're going to create the funnel and I'm going to do it from scratch. It will literally take me five minutes. So I want to do a new funnel. This one is for a client named Chase. I'm going to name it Chase Payment. Cool, easy enough. Great. All right, so we're going to let that load for a second. Now, there's two different things you can do. Some coaches or course creators want to have different prices on their um, stuff. So you can do that, um, but you don't have to. I'm going to do, I'm just giving one payment link because me and the client already talked about it, but you could do two payments links and I will show you how to do that. All right. So payments is the first page and then I'm going to put a thank you page. And I'm going to upload this from an existing one just so you can see. So let's say, I actually won't. Let's create a new one. Create from link. All right, so I like to be very simple with my payment stuff. Um, assuming the client already knows who you are and you're just sending them a payment link, this doesn't have to be fancy, okay? So I'm gonna do full width. I'm just gonna do a column, put a little header. Welcome to coaching. All right, I mean, it really could just be that simple. I'm gonna add another section just because I like the spacing to be there. We're gonna add a, uh, a payment. I think it's a one, let me see. What is it, what is it called? One second. Sorry. All right, so we gotta add the actual payment form and I totally forgot, one step order, okay? So this is it. Obviously you wanna go to the advanced and make it customized, okay? So advanced, shipping info here, coaching payment. Life coaching payment form. Get ready for huge transformation. Something like that. We'll put like something cute and cheesy, right? <laughs> I don't want to put the company name, so we're gonna get rid of that. I don't need it. Um, I really don't need their phone number. I don't really do that with clients. I I actually use Telegram between sessions. So if you're considering doing that, Telegram is a great free app you can use. It's amazing. It like literally is like a little walkie talkie. I prefer it over Voxer. I think it works even better than Voxer. Um, and my friend Sarah says that it's way more secure than a lot of other platforms. So, you know, if you wanna protect your client's data, she says that's what I wanna do. She's like the extra, extra techie person. So I listen to her with things like that. All right, so that's pretty much all I need to do on the forum. Um, you wanna always scroll down and make sure there's no coupon codes available. You don't want a client to think you have a coupon that you don't. Um, and then you can, always, you can always change some little things. Like this says shipping is a default. And you can actually change this from shipping, let me find it. So the shipping headline to, um, you know, billing address, just so that it makes more sense for the product because I'm not shipping them anything for coaching. Okay, so the form looks pretty good. The welcome to coaching, I'll say with Andrew, looks great. If you want like to really get extra, you know, like you can add um, a picture. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. I think I have one in here. So let me get in here really fast. We'll save that because I know you guys are getting nervous. I haven't saved it. All right, so we're gonna click on it, scroll down into my little media library and we're gonna find a picture. Um, Let's see, I got a whole bunch of stuff on here. All right, here's my life coach, my little general life coaching picture. Yay, how cute. Okay, so we're gonna make that. I think 250 should suffice. Awesome. I like to make sure the spacing is pretty good. So we can go up, add a little bit of margin on that. All right, now we're gonna save it. 
So, I mean, that was easy, huh? We can look at it if you want. Let's see. Welcome to Life Coaching. Welcome to Coaching with Andrew. Perfect, right? Life Coaching Payment Form. Get ready for your transformation. Look, first name, email address. Awesome. Billing address. It says now instead of shipping. Cool. No coupon code. Perfect. It can be that simple. You guys can customize it if you want. I personally believe you don't have to. Um, I'm going to publish it before I make the thank you page. I'm going to pick the uh, com. That's my normal domain that I use. And it is published. All right. So we're going to go back. I'm going to add a thank you page and then I'll show you how to add the product on. And then that's it. I mean, it's all you have to do. It's really simple. All right. So we're going to add a step. Um, thank you for this page. I am going to upload an existing thank you page because I don't want to have to build one. It's pretty much exactly what I just did. Um, from the last page, it's not going to be like anything technical. So I don't think I need to include it in this video. All right. So use existing. I'm going to go to a different payment funnel I have for somebody else. And I'm going to do thank you page. All right. So now the reason why I'm also, um, making a separate payment form for different clients is because I have different pricing for different clients. My pricing has changed over the um, last year. So some of the existing payment funnels I have have different products and, and pricing attached to them. So for this funnel, I figured I'd just create a new one and I figured I'd make a video doing it. All right. So this is my existing thank you page. Awesome. I look forward to coaching with you. A receipt will be emailed to your inbox. Your following five payments will be come out consecutively every 30 days. Cool. And that's all it has to say. Um, if you want to add, like you can always add on a thank you page, like a call to action for them to do something else. If you want them to get a worksheet or to listen to a podcast episode before their first session. Awesome. On this one, I don't want them to do that. It doesn't need to be. So I'm just going to publish that. Look how simple again, it doesn't have to be sexy. Okay, guys, it could just be really nice and simple. Um, if you want to spend 10 minutes designing it and putting a background color and making it colorful and everything, feel free. I don't think for this client it's necessary. Um, we are already friends before the coaching and I don't need to get fancy. All right. So now I'm going to go to my payment form. Remember when you want to add a product, you have to go to the, the actual funnel page where the order form is. So my order form is here on this first page. So we're going to go to products. I'm going to add a product to the page. Okay. So you have to add the product to make sure that it will actually list on the form right now. It's got a blank form on it. Okay. So I think it's called monthly coaching with Andrew. The price is the default. I'm not going to put any other overrides save. And it is that freaking simple. This is why I love get legit, go high level. They're the same thing, different names. This is why I love this platform. All right. So we're going to go back. And now if you, where did I put it? All right. So now if I click on this one, I just made, and I click this button, as you can see, welcome to coaching with Andrew. Awesome. Ready to go. Um, my price is there. All good. Okay. So the last thing I want to say is that if you want to add more than one payment option, I'll show you what I've done in the past. So you can just get a good idea. Okay. So let me see where am I? Yeah. All right. So if you want to do your own funnel where there's different options, here's how I'd recommend you do it. You just make more than one product. Okay. And then you want to make one page with just two buttons that are going to go to different funnel pages. So if I click this button, the 2000 pay in full, it's going to open up the order form page like I just made. Okay. For my $2,000 one pay option. All right. Now, if I open up the other option, it's going to open up my other payment option, which is a two payment subscription for two payments. Okay. So the last thing I want to say is if you're going to do more than one payment, I recommend you just have a welcome page. that looks like this with all the payments listed and then link the buttons to each specific payment page you want to do. So if you click this first $2,000 page, it's going to go to payment option one. If you click the 2000 or the split into two payments, it's going to go to the second page payment option two. Okay. And then on the order form, you just have to make sure that on these order forms, that you link the button to go to a specific thank you page. Okay. Because if I leave this default, when they click next, it's going to go to the second payment option. But if I um, set the buttons on my order forms to go to the thank you page intentionally from either payment option, it'll go to the thank you page. So just remember that it's a little caveat. And then as you can see on the products, I only listed the one product on the payment option one. And then on the second one, I entered the second product. Okay. It's that simple. All you need is like a welcome page. 
um, and then your thank you page. But if you're gonna do more than one product, you'll just make a separate page for each product and you'll make sure that on the home page you link a button for each one. That's how you do it. I always recommend you guys test your funnels. So remember, if you want to test it, you're gonna go to settings and then put it in test mode. Okay. And then you can go through and test the funnel with a fake credit card number and see if the action actually works and it goes to your billing. I've done this a bajillion times. I trust that my Stripe account will work. If for some reason it doesn't, I know the client well enough to where I don't need to test it. It's all good. Um, but I always recommend that you test it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks guys. This was all I have for you and I'll see you later.